What's up guys, it's Olivia with your news. First off, there are still some spots left for the Peru Spring Break 2021 trip. That's to Peru. So anyone interested in going to Peru to pet llamas or go to the Andes Mountains, please see Ms. Williams or Ms. Potter for more information. Next up, students who need to make a missed finals from December 19th and December 20th are required to attend ESS this week. Um, all final exams must be made up by Friday, January 17th. The schedule is Monday, ESS is in room 112 with Ms. Searcy. Tuesday, ESS is in room 161 with Ms. Klein. Wednesday, ESS is in room 537 with Ms. Smith. Thursday, ESS is in room 140 with Ms. Vassar. Friday, ESS is in the Media Center with Ms. Wells. Lastly, Mr. Four wants to remind all student drivers that students must immediately enter the building upon arrival. You are not permitted to remain in your car when you are on school grounds. If you insist on staying inside your vehicle, you must be in another parking lot off of school grounds. I'm Olivia Griffin, and those were your daily announcements. Have a good day. Good morning, Anderson County High School students. My name is Riley Wilford, and I'm here with your weather for today. Today, we're going to have a high of 61 and a low of 40, and it's going to be partly cloudy all day. Now, on to Paul with your lunch. Hi, my name is Paul, and today for lunch, we have beef, taco meat, fajita seasoned chicken, quesadilla, bacon cheeseburger, chef salad, chicken snack wrap, turkey sandwich, parfait, taco fixings, Spanish rice, cheesy fried beans, nacho and queso cheese, black beans and corn, curly fries, and flour tortilla shells. Thank you and on to your next segment. Hey what's going on Anderson County, it's Nick here with your sports and today the boys will be set to take on Casey County at Casey County and the girls basketball team is set to take on Shelby County and my NBA pick of the pick of the day would be the Nets and the Jazz. It's going to be a really good matchup so don't miss out on it and I'll pick the Jazz to win. I'm here with Anderson County forward Zachary Labhart and now Zachary what type of preparation goes into a game like Casey County? Well, you know, we uh, work every week, and then we're coming off of a short week. Last week we play a Saturday, and we come back and uh, have a good practice on Monday, and then we uh, get ready to play on Tuesday. And we never overlook an opponent. We always uh, go into a game expecting to win because we know what we can do. All right. How do you think the game is going to go on or today? Well, I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a great team. We always play the great defense, and we can always come uh, prepared to play. I really believe in us. and. Uh, Casey County hasn't had the best season, but we never overlook an opponent. Uh, we always come ready to play and uh, go Bearcats. Tr spoken like a true senior. Thank you, Zach. Hello, ACHS. This is CJ Fibbs with your fun fact of the day. Did you know that the 100 folds in the chef's hat represent the 100 ways they know how to cook an egg? Yeah. If any staff or student has anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatbroadcast.anderson.kyschools.us. Have a nice day.